back, everyone. So barn doors are all the rage right now, and Colin is showing us how we can create this look in our own homes for a fraction of the cost. Now, these cost quite a bit of money if you go buy them at a store. They do. If you buy them at the store, you can spend easily over $800. That's wow. That's a lot of money. It's a lot. Now, you're no stranger to home renovation. We saw at the top of the show everything yeah. you were doing, and you actually created your own barn door just this past weekend. I did. I was taking, here's a picture right here. I took my garage and turned it into a hang space. And if you look at the space on the right where there isn't the door, yes. the next picture might show you where, where the door is. That's the beginning of building oh. the door. I took a bunch of offcuts from a shelving unit that I had. Wow. And put it in. Yeah, it and worked then, out great. So behind there is where all the stuff in the garage should be going. Yeah, shovels, saws, anything you need for the garden. Because you got to put that stuff away if you're going to have a hang area. Because uh, you're hang so you basically yeah. made your garage into a man cave yeah. and took everything that's supposed to go into the garage and put it into yeah, the Yeah, an room. upscale man cave. I mean, I can hang out with a lawnmower, but it's just not my Can choice. your car go in there or does the car have to go oh, in the yeah. street? Oh, yeah, no, it's a 20 by 20 space. Okay, so you the can car can hang the out in your man cave. Yeah. That's fine. So then you came here today and you made one for our, our room in here. Yes. You got started a little bit earlier. Let's take a look. All right. So these are the basic materials. You got a piece of plywood, it's your basic three quarter inch ply. You're gonna find a center, line, center on your door. That's where you're gonna put your first cut. Now you offset from that cut about an inch to make allowance for the saw. That's gonna be about one eighth of an inch deep and you're gonna do that probably three times to make a panel look on your door. Okay. Okay? They're on mine, they're about eight and a half inches apart, but it's gonna be determined by how wide your door is. You draw the guidelines for the one by fours, that's the border all around the outside, and then do the same for the cross beam that goes through the middle. Nice, I love this. Yeah, it's pretty good. All in all, it might seem daunting, but it's pretty straightforward. It's just lines, 90 degrees, and, cuts. and cuts. Okay. Then you went back, you measured it, oh, I see, yeah. all right. It was just your basic circular saw cutting them. And there's forgiveness, too, because you can use silicone as a, um, to fill the gaps if you do something a little bit Oh, wrong. that's good to know. Yeah, and then you put it up, you always mock it up before, before, you, you, do before it. you start screwing it in. All right. So that's just the mock-up right there. And then what I did is I glued and screwed it. You put the glue down, then you put the one by four down. You like to do both. You, I like to do both just to make sure. And also you're gonna make sure that all the way along the board it's attached all to right. the plywood. Well, I move that quickly, by the you're way. You're very fast. Yeah, I know, I saw you. Look at that. Look at that. And then you can stain it, paint it, any color you want that matches your room. You can whitewash it, you can paint it any color, or you can leave it down to the natural wood, like you saw in that photo. What if you're not comfortable using the circular saw? That's a good, if you're not comfortable using saws, don't do it. Okay. You can, you can get a paneled uh, piece from any sort of store and just glue it onto it. If you're comfortable screwing that on, then you can screw that on too, but you don't have to cut if you don't want to cut. All right, that's good to know. And then you can yeah. also nail it in too. Absolutely. Glue yeah. and nail. Glue and nail. All right, now we have to add the hardware here on the door because we're going to hang it up somewhere. Absolutely, so how yeah. do we do that? Well, these are your brackets, basic hardware brackets, and this is called barn door hardware. It's the same everywhere. So you drill your holes here. I think it's 3 16th or 3 8 was the uh, um, size of, with the drill bit. You put, on, you put it on like that. What? Did I do that backwards? No, no let's I see. Did it right. You got it right. All right. No, do all, or there are a bunch of different... Um, there's different type of hardware for barn doors. There are. And now with this, what you're doing is you're making sure that the nuts are on the outside. See, the bolts are on the underside, which is a, a narrow, that's where you're not going to have the clearance. Okay, we're not going to see. That's where I got your it. wall okay. is going to be. So these hefty nuts, you just make sure. And you can tell the they're decorative anyway. The other side, you can see that it's more flat and it's not as decorative as these. Yeah, exactly. So you do it with your hand and then you tighten them up? I hand tighten them. I mean, I'd, I'd tighten them a little more if we were, you know, if I was at my house, I'd really make sure they're on. Oh, but at our house, it's fine. Just you know what? You've got loose. pros here. Let's <laughs> it off next <laughs> Yeah, I mean, right. this is quite simple to make. I'm a little surprised at how easy it is I to make this. I was shocked how simple it was because I, I undertook it and I thought that it was going to be tricky. I thought there were going to be some sort of really weird things to do, but it wasn't. It was very straightforward. Then, and this is very, very important, follow the instructions in your barn door hardware because okay. they'll all have things like use two people to do this and they're all specific. So read the instructions and follow them. That's how you stay safe. That's how you build a better product. And that's also how you learn because maybe you think you know sure. how to do it, but you can learn a new trick. And there are different types of hardware, like I was saying before. So whatever, you can find so many different ones. They don't have to be big, black, oh, bulky. They can, it can be, be satin, nickel. You can get chrome. You can get 96 inches. You can get 72 inches. You have inches. ones you that nearly disappear inches. into the into the door, so Absolutely. you don't even need to see them. This is more of a showpiece, really, because yeah. it's a beautiful hardware. Now, one thing I wasn't sure of was if I was going to have to take these off. These are the stoppers on the end of the hardware over okay. here, up in the corner. I wasn't sure if you had to take, maybe slide it on to get it on, but you don't. You don't. You can just okay. literally lift it up and put it on the rail, okay, which let's, was nice. Let's try to lift it up and put it on the rail. Are you sure, sure you I think, want to? I think we can do this. 
And also, you're going to tell me about how you hung the hardware onto the wall as well, because there's a trick there. Yeah, just before we lift this okay. up, if you, if you look over here, now this is your trim, right? Now, if you have a normal one by four trim, it only comes off the, the wall, you know, less than an inch. And that's what these spacers are for. These spacers underneath there will cover you. But here at Home and Family, right. you guys have a robust trim. We do. A very ornate trim. We do. So what we had to do was put another piece of panel here on the wall, a plank, to pull it off the wall a little bit to make enough room. For it to slide. So the door wouldn't hit this trim. And now. it's clever. All you have to do is paint the same color as the wall and you really can't see it. It just disappears. It just disappears. Okay, and they do say that when you're building this to have two people to put it up on your wall. So let's see. <laughs> Are you sure about We it? could do this. You Come got on, this. Colin. You're like a Hulk. All right. It's amazing. Well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's pretty easy to hang. It's just like it's that. It's a piece of plywood. You tell me how you're doing. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm on. Oh, you're on? Yeah. All right. I'm letting mine down. There you go. Let it down. We're on. That's impressive. Wow. And listen, look how quiet that is. Look at that. No kids slamming doors ever again. It's so nice. <laughs> also, what you can get for this, you can have a, a floor guide. If you don't like it going up and back on your wall, you put it into the floor and you can have anti-skip stuff that you put here. It should be included in your hardware. So it makes sure that it will never sort of go up and bounce. So you said these could cost up to $800. I've actually seen them yeah. for more, to be honest with you. Absolutely. I've seen them for up to about $2,000. Yeah. How much did this cost you to make? This cost $150 after taxes. What? Yeah. I mean, the piece Inclu of Wait, including the, the, the hardware? Hard the, this hardwood's going to run you about $98 before taxes, and the, the plywood's going to run you about $40. That's it? Yeah. I mean, I use pine. This is an oak. But really, it, it depends on what you need. Look at that, Colin. Well yeah. done. Thank you, you can very stay, much. my friend. Nice I love friend. that you say before taxes and after taxes. <laughs>